Hello, everybody, and welcome to Saints Seaval here today. We have St. Clair College varsity team versus OTSU. It's going to be a very good game. One of the first games we're going to have here. Yesterday's game didn't work out. We're still getting into this one, so we'll see how it pans out. But once again, I'm your host for today, Matthias, also known as Matthias, and I'm joined by the Holy Juan, Theo himself. How are you doing? Hello, hello, everybody. I'm doing good today on this Sunday. We do have a... A matchup, as you said, we have our Saints taking on OTSU, so it should be a good one. Uh, unfortunately, on FF yesterday, so we didn't get our, to see our Saints in action, but this will be their first game of the season, so let's see if they can keep their winning ways going. Yeah, the Saints, the Saints uh, Valorant varsity team, one of the top teams in the world, I would even say, for uh, college Valorant. They are just amazing all across the board, and they're looking to keep their number one spot on the board here. But not to count out OTSU, we saw them play in the eSport Canadian eSports Nationals, and they put up quite a good fight in all their categories, so they're not a team to sleep on. But the game does, is not the same game that they played back then. There has been a few changes. I don't think we're going to see all the changes uh, today, but we, there have been some major changes. The biggest change, that which we're not going to see today, is the out addition of the Outlaw, kind of mid-tier sniper that's going to be good on save rounds, on round second round wins and all that. It's basically anti-light armor sniper to disrupt that light armor meta we've been seeing just by light armor, uh, run a Vandal, and that's pretty strong, you know. Heavy armor wasn't really worth the investment every single time, but now this is going to force players to think a little bit differently about how they purchase their items. They did add Icebox back in the rotation, but we're not going to see that either because it's a little bit too brand new. And uh, C-Val, they want to make sure stuff isn't completely broken and just make sure it's all completely balanced. Haven has been rotated out. And but it's going to be in for the series. Yeah, I think it is going to be in place here because we're still playing with the old set of rules. Yeah. But the current rotation... It's not going to be that, but nonetheless, <laughs> there has been a few a updates to the agents, some minor gameplay updates and modes, but nonetheless, not too much different right now, but on the horizon, the coming few games, you know, a month from now, a few more weeks, yeah. we'll have all these new goodies to look at. Without a doubt, Outlaw will be a very interesting play, especially in the higher levels of uh, gameplay, so... It's a very interesting change, uh, as you said. We won't see it today, but in the for uh, in the in the future, like I think it's going to be a very very interesting thing to look into. Yeah, especially because I think this might even disrupt uh, the Saint Clair varsity team because they don't really have someone who specializes in sniping, opping, playing those long range angles. And I I know they love that uh, the the light shield meta is where a lot of their econ uh, economic strats come from. So it could really put a major disruption how they play the game. They might have to train so that some of their players on how to snipe, on how to play with certain guns. So I'm really excited to see how the shape's the meta. I mean, these players are of the highest level. I'm sure they can definitely oh. figure out a player or two who can get on it if it's absolutely necessary, if that weapon does become just a little bit too strong. Every team's going to be abusing it if it is. So you're going to have at least one or two players per team rocking that normally. But... uh. It's an exciting matchup today. We get to see our Saints play for the first time. And with all that being said, we're going to throw it over to a very, very quick break. But don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Map 1 right after this.
Hello, everybody. Welcome to Seaval St. Clair College versus OTSU, Ontario Tech Academy. Valorant, we're here. At map one, game one on bind here. And we're looking at the lineup here. We have Caillou on Viper, Smiley on Sky, Giza on Reyna, Instinct on Rays, and of course, Seth on Brimstone. And the enemy team, we have Tkavik on Brimstone, Cypher, uh, Work Rate on Cypher, Miscreant on Sky. Ego on Rays, and Banana on Viper. And it looks like St. Clair is starting attack, and Ontario Tech is starting defense. It's going to be an interesting game. Yeah, St. Clair choosing to go for the two duelists with that Reyna is not something you get to see too often, but it means they are playing with a lot of confidence. They want to win this one with a pretty big scoreline, probably going for an uh, option like Reyna. But other than that, a lot of setup with that Viper, Sky, and Brimstone should be able to let those duelists do their job and really entry onto that site with all that utility, so it should. Uh, Composition-wise, seems like a very, very fun game so far. Yeah, they are starting on attack, so maybe going for the little bit more of the aggressive team comp is going to work out for them, get those early round wins, and maybe hopefully that'll carry them further into the in the defense rounds. And you know, if they're that confident, they can even be aggressive on these defense rounds and make full use of these. Uh, Duelist there. We're seeing Viper lineup go out. That's going to block Garage. That's going to be a nice setup after their enemy Viper orb goes down. Looks like they're all lining up for a main push here. He's up, holding up the flank, taking out the boom bot. Got the loop around. A lot of them are in bathroom. Tkavik rotating around to A. He knows that's where the main push is coming from. Caillou up the corner and holding it tight. It's blocked there by smoke, though. He's going to get out from the Viper bite, or the snake bite there. Now Ego's gonna beat the corner, he dies to Giza though, grabs one, that's gonna be 50 armor, that's gonna be massive here, gets two, and now he's going on to onto the site and gets site clearance here. Only one in U-Hauls, but Seth manages to get him as well. And Caillou is initiating the plant. Very strong start here for St. Clair, Seth able to find two on the arena. There's gonna be another one peeking out the top there. He's gonna pick down up and Smiley will pick up the last kill for the flawless there, St. Clair College. Getting off to an amazing start. Seth started, uh, Giza, sorry, starting them off strong there. Uh, finding two picks on the Reyna, getting that heal. Just gives him so much room to work with when you're getting kills on that Reyna. And you can see he's buying that Vandal on the Reyna. Smiley also going to pick up a Vandal. Caillou's going to go for a Bulldog. Seth for a Spectre. And Instinct's probably going to buy a, a Judge. So the Saints are going to look to go very, very aggressively as the side of Ontario Tech Academy can't afford much. They're going to full on save, not even light shields. And this should be a locked round for the side of St. Clair. Yeah, St. Clair is going to have an amazing round as they are fully kitted <laughs> out. And looks like they're going to go for the walking ball of Death's Track, going for a little bit of a flank from B. But A is just completely clear, so St. Clair will have the opportunity to set up. But first, you make sure it's clear. Oh, and now, Smiley. Smiley's going to hold the flank, gets one. Sending out the flash, looking for another. Going to hold the corner, though. He's able to find one. The rest of the team is there. And Smiley's going to back up, Both let down. his teammates know that he needs assistance. Now, Seth and Giza are going to rotate over. All four members of Ontario Tech Academy are inside of that smoke. If anyone from the Saints just decides to get a little spray going, would be nice. Now, Ontario Tech Academy are going to back up a little bit, even though they have to go forward. Living here is probably not an option they want to take. Seth is going to look to push through. He's going to be able to find one. Finds two with the help of Kai. He's going to push through with the pistol. Banana will find one, but Smiley finds the last two for the 3K in the round. And that is going to be the second round going over to St. Clair College. Ontario Tech Academy were able to get one member killed, so that is an upside for them. But St. Clair College, as expected, after winning the first round, very easily are able to take control of this game and take it to a lead. Made it, made it a little bit more expensive taking out uh, Seth there. He's going to just have to do a little bit of a light buy this round. And now it looks like OTSU will be able to buy some rifles and, and put them in their hands. Banana on the kill board there with one kill. Hopefully they can get a little bit more kills on the boards now that they're fully on and ready. Looks like the first split push from the side of St. Clair College. Just feeling it out, seeing who's where. Now Instinct is pushing through Hookah. Holding the hookah to be site right now. 
take the long range with the rifle and try and take the engagement. It's creeping up near the window. No one knows where he is right now, but they have a feeling. They have a good inclination. He's just hiding there and waiting there. And all he has is a pistol to his name right now, so he doesn't want to take these long range gun shots. He has that judge as well, but if nobody pushes him up there, it's gonna be a bit rough. You can see the Saints slowly moving up to me, but they're gonna take the TP, and Inkstein's gonna find a pick with that pistol that we were talking about. He's gonna look to push the second, but he does have the judge. He doesn't get it up. Oh, he's gonna pick up the Vandal instead and choose to back up. That's a huge entry frag there, and Saints will easily get the plant down. It's gonna be not much time for Interior Tech all to rotate over. Three of them come through spawn. Viper is on the flank. It's gonna be Inkstein trying to find maybe some information there with that satchel. Never seen that one. Very, very clever there. Did not spawn one out. Tavik will actually find Smiley. So it's a four and four situation, but Ontario Tech are against the clock. They need to get this defuse. Giza is able to find one on the Reynas, whose work rate walks through there. He will die to the just from Seb. Tavik on the flank will find one more. It's a 3v2 situation, but down goes Banana. It's all up to the quick, and he's not able to get it. Inkston gets the kill to finish off the round, and St. Clair College taking a very commanding 3 0 lead and doing so in a very dominant fashion. Yeah, that was the round OTSC really needed to win there. Tavik played amazingly, did a lot of tricky stuff, but you know, without the firepower to back it up, it was just too much to handle. And now the Saints are firmly in the lead, all having rifles, all having full shields, and assumedly having full abilities as well. I mean, just look at Seth. He has 5k in the bank and already has a rifle and everything he could want. Same with Instinct. So they are looking very good going into this fourth round. Looks like it's going to be an A push. It will be an A push, and only three members of Ontario Tech Academy are here to defend. They also don't have the best weapons to deal with it, but TK Vic on the flank will pick up Giza and will pick up that Vandal. A great start there for Ontario Tech Academy. Let's see if they can hold on to this site. Let's see what St. Clair decides to do. They could all choose to take that teleporter, but no, they're going to choose to work their way further onto, it, uh, onto A. Workray is able to find Caillou there with the Sheriff, and TK Vic is able to take out Instinct. Now Seth does find out back, but Banana is able to take out Smiley, and that is a thrifty for Ontario Tech Academy. A great round from them, and with the Sheriffs just finding the shots and the kills, St. Clair just getting flanked from all angles and losing the gunfights. A great start to the comeback for Ontario Tech Academy. Yeah, OTSU just played very cleanly there, very patiently, and got the early kill there, affording them that Vandal in the hands of TK Vic. It worked wonders later on in that round, and now they're giving St. Clair College a run for their money. They were in a very dominant lead, but just like that, the game is flipped on its head. Now OTSU might be able to start their comeback, but they need to win this round to put St. Clair in that losing position because St. Clair has just stayed in the driver's seat this whole time. They're going to choose to go really, really quick here. Are they able to get the Cypher trips? They are, but at the cost of two members, work rate Ego able to find Instinct there on the entry. And Giza also gets taken out by Ego. Ego finding the third of the round. Finally fighting for his first kills of the game, and it's a three-piece in this such important round. Four kill for Ego there, picks up Caillou, and after a great start for St. Clair, they're going thrifty into flawless. Ontario Tech Academy have definitely found something that's working for them, and they're going to look to swing off this momentum and start a big comeback. Yeah, Ego inflating his kill store and inflating his Ego. He's doing amazing there, 4K. That's what you need to turn it around. And now St. Clair is on the back foot. Having to buy light shields, having to buy, you know, the cheaper weapons. It's going to be an uphill yeah. battle from here. It seems like they got a little bit too comfortable. What do you think, Theo? They're not going to full on buy, but they're going to have a few just in case sort of weapons. They have a Vandal and a Phantom at disposal, but these players are so, so skilled. They make the Sheriff seem like an operator. So, uh, yes, it's a gun disadvantage. But we saw with Ontario Tech did on the thrifty St. Clair gonna look to replicate that uh, and I believe we have a quick pause uh, we should be going back in the game soon as you see the R in the bottom left corner but just a bit of a technical issue probably nothing so to probably just unplug yeah. the mouse back or something you know like something simple <laughs> the clock is ticking so I'm assuming we're back on line let's see how this round plays out Giza on the rain is gonna look to find Eagle but Eagle is able to find the headshot 
great shot from him. He's able to make a lot of live inksing though. He's gonna trade that one back one for one. 4v4 left in this round. Can St. Clair maybe find the plant here and play around that? They need a win con this round. They do not have the weapons to straight up fight against Ontario Tech University. And there's Smiley picking up a kill onto Banana, but Worker is able to trick that back. He's gonna be able to find a second, but Smiley is able to take him out. 2v2 situation, bomb is planted. Seth does have those smokes to play around. That's gonna be a big one. There's gonna be a push coming in from here. Seth misses those wow. shots. Point blank. It's gonna be all up to Smiley in the 1v2. Do they have any idea where he is at? He's gonna find the flash. He's gonna be able to find the first. I think he knows exactly the where the second player is. He's gonna come through the smoke. He's to your right. Does he have any idea? He's able to see him, but he, the other player has a bit of a, an idea. But Smiley with the fourth kill of the round is able to find the clutch and give the sixth round over to St. Clair College. <laughs> Smiley clutching it out there with a 4K around. It just was totally chaotic there. Went back and forth there with work rate getting the double kill. Seemed like St. Clair was gonna lose that one, but Smiley managed to pull himself up by his bootstraps and managed to clutch that round out. Now they're in a very good position here. If they can just win this round, Ontario Tech will be back in the losing position. Right now, it's kind of an equal battle. Well, St. Clair still has two rounds on them. They'll carry on going back and forth right like here. this. Still in the leading position, but you want to get an even, even bigger lead. An interesting thing uh, we're going to get to see is Saints are going A every single round. But look at that spray down Giza. It just had to find one. Press his E and get out of there, but did not find the shot. Not finding the most value on the arena just yet. But uh, it is a long game of Valorant. Now it's going to be a 4v5 for St. Clair. And they are determined to push into this A site. There's going to be the coming through. Work rate. Look at taken out by Smiley and Inkstink. Able to find two. There's going to be the ult coming out from one. Ego is able to find one. But Inkstink takes him out. A little trade of the raises there. Seb is going to find a pick onto that sky. Now it's a 4v1 situation. St. Clair have chosen to use the teleporters and take full control of this B site. Seb is going to find TK Vic on the entry. And that round looked very dangerous for St. Clair College, but they were able to find the entry picks. The raise one for one trade was quite entertaining, and just like that, they take a 5-2 lead. Now it's going to be Ontario Tech Academy. Right Not here. a lot of money to their name. Going to have to maybe have a bit of a save round, and St. Clair are in prime position to run away with this game. Yeah, a timeout is expected once St. Clair has taken this large lead. You need to think, what did we do wrong? Why did, where did it go awry? Careful here. You were doing so well on OTSU for a little while there. So you gotta think, what are we doing so well in those rounds? And as for St. Clair, you have to <laughs> take some, take a step back, try and collect what you're doing right, and just keep on keeping on. <laughs> well, Simply. <laughs> OTS, you were able to get that thrifty round, which was absolutely massive for them. It kind of kick-started their comeback, but it only lasted two rounds. Then the Saints were able to finally re recompose themselves and kind of on a half by of their own take that round back and put themselves uh, in a very very solid spot now you know economically if they lost that one round would have been pretty rough shape for them but uh, luckily for them they were able to pull it out now it's OTSU they need this round bad because their money is not looking very good no they're scraping the bottom of the barrel here for in terms of guns so we'll see what they'll be able to do some of them are able to afford a rifle but some of them certainly are not Looks like one's opting for a Guardian, a Bulldog. It looks like one last near full buy from them. It's a decent buy, a decent so buy, yeah. they could potentially win this round and Blinded. on the good spot that they're in right now. But with Instinct getting the kill right out of the gate, it's not looking good. DK Vic going down right away. Miss Green holding him off and Hookah Instinct going in with his teammate here. Now it's just a bit of a standoff. It looks like Miss Green's going to back off here. Oh, no. It's going to be clear for them. He's trapped. I think he knows he's trapped. He's getting he's sprayed trapped. out by everyone. He's gonna get hit by the dog. He's gonna get hit by the flash. Giza gonna be able to push through and pick that one up. Now it's a 5 3 for Sarah St. Clair's. Giza through the smoke is able to find Banana. Nice shot there. Ego on the flank will take out Smiley and will get out with his life. But in a 2v4 situation, he needs to do so much more to pick this round up. Ego's gonna look for the swing here. Caillou is able to spot him out, but it's just a game of cat and mouse. On the other side, the Cypher work rate is gonna go for the huge flank around. Will he be able Last to find anything? Caillou does find Ego on the flank, so it's all up to work rate to pull this one out. But 
he has the clock ticking against him. It is a 4v1 work rate. He's gonna go for the swing here. He will take down Seth with a beautiful shot there. Does spawn one out in Hookah. Caillou does some damage to him there. Inkstink though is gonna go for the swing. Work rate taking so many bullets, but not too much damage. He's gonna go for the wide swing again. Is able to take out Inkstink on one HP, but Caillou will find his uh uh, avenge him there and give St. Clair a very, very important round. Now they're up 6-2. They're looking so good on money and Ontario Tech Academy are going to need a miracle to bring this one back. That was a little too close for comfort there. Work rate surviving with 1 HP. A little bit better of a placed shot and that could have been it for instinct there. And overall, OTSU is doing pretty well against St. Clair College, but it looks like St. Clair has just found their groove once again. Giza popping off that last round, taking out, I think, two or three OTSU's members. Just want to keep that energy going, keep that flow state the way it is. As Instinct approaches B site from main, it looks like they're going for a little bit of a split push, but a little bit more towards the middle of the map. They're all lining up, trying to get any info that they can, finding out which agents are where. Screen sending out the dog, scouting it out. He's gonna find somebody in the main there. He's gonna see two. Now his team knows it's most certainly gonna be a B push. It probably will be. You can see the Saints playing very, very slow when they have that gun advantage. What I remember even from last year is they like to slow down a little bit and play a bit more of a default when they have that big money advantage because the long range uh, gunfights are favored for them, but Giza now forced to push into the side, does spot out one, does he know there's a second there, will be able to make it out of his life, does have to use those flashes though, get a bit of an entry, Caillou was able to find Banana on the entry, now you can see St. Clair taking the teleporter and they're going to make their way over to A, can that Viper find second pick, Caillou has to do so much more here, he does find the Cypher and that's going to be the full site for St. Clair, they're going to invest the Viper ultimate as well, and this should be a wrap on this round. Yeah, they just want to put the nail in the coffin, OTSU's bank right now, as they are just ensuring that they win this round. Viper with the shorty in the Viper pit. He's all holding down. Evan here finds one. Looking to find another. There's only one or two left. Miscreant up there. Heaven, Sheriff to his name. Will he find anybody? TK Vic debating going in the Viper pit, but it's gonna be risky. Caillou gonna go up on the flank, gonna try and find anybody, and they find them both, scouts them out for the team, Instinct and Smiley, cleaning up this flawless round for the Saints. Great rounder from the Saints, and a lot of credit has to go over to Caillou, he was able to make his way alone onto that A site, which ensured his uh, that his team can safely teleport over to him, plant that spike, and just play off that Viper ult. Such great play there from St. Clair. Now they put oh, themselves the at a, uh, give themselves a 7-2 lead. Looking at the weapons, this might be I got you, uh, the impo most important round so far. You see everybody has weapons. If Ontario Tech can bring this one back, would be a huge start for their comeback. Ego is going to take the Ego challenge here. Caillou right on the other side of this wiper wall. He's going to drop and finds one. Is not able to find anyone else, but he does find a lot of information, which means St. Clair are now all full sprinting on to B. They're going to try and get that plant down. TK Vic, that's a beautiful molly. Is able to stop the plant for just a little bit. And Instinct now says, guys, let's all push this one guy. They're going to choose to opt out of that one and get the plant down. Let's see if TK Vic can find anything. He does spot out one. There's another flash coming through. He's able to find a kill out to Instinct. That is massive. That raise utility won't be there to help them out. TK Vic getting healed up as well. So St. Clair in a 3v4 situation by Smiley. Quickly able to take out the Sky. Is going to get his own ultimate off which is huge TK Vic though does find Giza work rate will have to run away from that Brimstone obviously Smiley does find TK Vic and now it's a 2v2 they know exactly where both these players are work rate is gonna be going around the corner Smiley is gonna have an absolutely massive flash there he does find both of them and finds both the headshots as work rate took down Seth but Smiley yet again getting the 4k and the clutch to guarantee St. Clair yet another round Smiley is just having a day for himself here the back to back 4k clutch wow. what we see it again and we're not even halfway through this match we're still on the same attack and defense I'm curious to see if he'll bring it all the way today and maybe finally get this ace because he He's has trying, just man. gotten short of it twice now so we'll see yeah. if he can finally do it in the later rounds and it looks like doing a similar move to what they did last time split push play it slow they know they have the gun advantage like you said and now this is gonna rotate back over to be 
They're all sitting in a hookah there. Looks like they're just banking that they push it. Only one sent over to guard A. That's going to be Banana. I got this spot. All in his lonesome. Spike being passed over to Smiley. They're just debating which way to push. They do have to push somewhere. They are on the attack. They can't just sit idly by. No waiting for Ontario Tech to be a little bit too aggressive like that. Oh as my. three of them fall down an inst instant as Instinct gets the 2K. And Caillou getting the third. And now A is three. totally clear right now. Only the other two are all the way over on B. Spike is certainly going to go down here. And now... Ontario, Te Ontario Tech's gonna have their work cut out for them. I mean, I don't think this is winnable in any world. They do have two sheriffs, but Spike is down. St. Clair College will know exactly where they are coming from. The dog will able to find the brimstone, but Giza did not get spotted out. Finds the shot there onto work right now. I'm gonna go push this guy. Seth will take down the final kill for yet another flawless for St. Clair College. And other than those two Last rounds that they lost, the they have looked very, very good. Yes, Smiley might have clutched a couple huge, huge rounds for them, but 9 to lead last round of the half. It's going to be the last round that Ontario Tech can really do anything to bring themselves back into this game. You know, 9-3 is sounds way better than 10-2, so they do have the weapons, and uh, it looks like a big push onto A is coming from St. Clair, while Ontario Tech University have a couple of members on B. It's looking like it's going to be a rough match for OTSU here. Push in all guarding A right now. St. Clair College pushing in. And they're going to drop the Viper Pit over on A, but St. Clair's not going to be <laughs> perturbed by that. Worker going to find the first early kill. It's a 4v5 situation. He's going to equal that one out and send down the Viper Pit as well. And there's a showstopper from Ego coming out. There it is. Back in, finds one. He's going to get out safe and clear right now. Great start for Ontario Tech Academy. They're up a person. They, they use a couple ultimates. Eagle finds Caillou as well. And it's Eagle finding three. Seth, it's going to be all up to him to clutch this one out in the 1v3 situation. Does have to spike the Brimstone also does get popped as well. But well, let's see if Seth can hit some crazy shots to bring this one back. He doesn't really know where anyone is, which is very, very unfortunate. It's going to make the situation so much harder. There is a sky all the way on B, so Seth can find these two picks really, really quickly. Should be able to get the plant down. Let's see if he can find TK Vic here on the entry. Seth is, I think he has an idea that there's a player left. there, but he knows that as soon as he peeks it, he will die. He has no idea, actually, and TK Vic able to find him there, so as I said, a big round for Ontario Tech Academy there. 9-3 looks way better than 10-2. And maybe this is the start of their comeback. Eagle might be the plug. Possibly. You do have the momentum advantage if you can just kind of throw them in a disarray. Not let them feel comfortable on the defense. OTS, you might have a chance to equalize these rounds. But that is a tall order nonetheless. It's going to be tough. It's going to be an uphill battle. St. Clair College is just looking like they're going to close this one out. They only need three or f four rounds to close this one completely out. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's not looking great. But we'll see if they can be good on defense. They are running right an extra duelist, so they don't have that little bit of extra defensive coverage they do get from the Cypher. I mean, Eagle has been the reason for a couple of Ontario uh, Tech. So, I mean... <laughs> if Ego can play really, really well, that might be what they really need. But let's see on the entry here. Banana is able to find Giza, which is a huge pick onto the Reina early. Instinct does find the trade, but it's going to be a push on to B from Ontario Tech Academy. Work crate's going to be moving up Hookah, but the rest of his team is down long. Smiley and Caillou are going to choose to go up to Hookah and fight. Work right here. The Cypher camera does get popped. He's stuck in the corner here on 17 HP. Caillou's able to find the kill. Now it's a 4v3 for Cypher Sinclair College. And let's see if Ontario Tech Academy fully commit to this B push. I don't think they will. They're going to look for the teleport over onto A, but there is a brimstone. Look at the rest of the Saints on the mini map. They're looking to chase them down through that teleporter. Are they going to take it? Yes, they will. One takes it, two takes it. Let's see at the gunfights all happening back there. 
They're not letting them through with ease. Smiley is going to take the peek here. Does find one. Will they be able to find a second? Caillou takes him down. Look at that teamwork from Smiley and Caillou. With just the two of them able to pick apart the three members of Ontario Tech Academy and give themselves a 10-3 lead in the second half. I was going to say that this pistol round was looking close, but it looks like St. Clair just managed to clutch that one up, get the teamwork going as it looks like Ontario Tech Academy is going to go for a complete full save here in this round. Not going to buy anything. One, going to buy a Stinger, some Light Shields. Just as I say that, the Caster's Curse, they do end <laughs> up buying some SMGs, a Sheriff, you know, the Light buys, yeah, a Spectre. But St. Clair is going to have the range advantage here with all the Bulldogs and the Guardians. So they should on paper win this round if they can play their angles right. It's a desperation move from Ontario Tech Academy. They know that if they lose this round, they literally have one more round to pl play around, basically. Yes, it wouldn't be match point, but basically the next worst thing. So they're going to just try and bring, bring it back right now. But St. Clair College playing so, so passively, per playing it basically how you're supposed to. You don't want to push uh, when you're on defense. And Ontario Tech Academy, knowing they have the weapon disadvantage, just don't want to push anything, but they are forced to do so. So they're going to choose to go through Hookah. Yeah, it looks like the Hookah push is the play. Ego going to wait for the Viper Orb to go down. TK Vic. Sure oh, what a shot. Kaya going to find one, though, from Hookah. And that's going to be their push stop. They're going to have to back off. They lost a member. They can't full commit here. The rest of St. Clair is not going to route the enemy here. They're going to just stay on the defense on A. Sending one over to B, thinking that's going to be the committal site, but no, it's going to be A as they flood through A main right now. Banana pushing through the smoke, getting some site control, laying down the snake left. bites. And now, Giza. he's just to find him, but the Guardian aim is not on point today as he misses his shots, and Miscreen going to take him down. He's going to upgrade for them if they want it. He's going to find one through the wall, though. One of them is very low as well in the corner. And the rest are in U-Haul Banana. Only 12 health to his niggas. Taken up by Wallbang. And Kyrie going to get the last one. And that's going to be the defuse for the Saints. So Ontario Tech is going to be in a very rough spot. as the score is 311. And they're going to have no money going into the next round. A great round there from Sinclair College. Again, just using the weapon advantage to, <laughs> to their advantage, basically. They defended the push on... on, on uh, B and then back to A they went they were able to keep a couple members there they didn't over rotate so able to defend that round perfectly now as you said Ontario Tech Academy not looking very good on the funds they're probably going to lose this round and next round is going to be Don't when they give it their all they fall by whatever scraps they have left they're going to put together but you could see T TK Vic didn't even buy any armor or a pistol. He just stayed with a classic. So, basically, Ontario Tech Academy are basically conceding this round. Work rate is going to go down very, very early to Smiley. And St. Clair is going to look to run over them with the weapon advantage. Uh, but they have to not get too greedy. They have to still stick to the fundamentals and not just play over aggressive because they have an advantage because that's what allows a comeback. But, yeah, it's looking like St. Clair are looking yeah. very good in this Same. round. They have the good positioning. Molly. And uh, it's looking very tough for yeah, Seth putting out a molly. Kai gonna find, can't find the first pick though. He's gonna flood in on the site. Seth finding another. They're all falling down. Only two left. I mean, one left as he falls down, planting the bomb. It's all down to Ego, but he gets gunned down in the bathroom there. Giza finding the final kill. It's gonna be a team ace coming out from St. Clair College. And now it's match point. Do you think OTSU has enough to buy rifles so they might be yeah. able to keep the dream alive a little bit longer, but you only have so many rounds you can win. They're going to need nine rounds in a row to bring this to OP, which is just a little bit too much to ask of most teams, but we'll see if they can do it. I mean, nothing is impossible, but this is the next closest thing. St. Clair College, one of the best teams in collegiate, just starting off their season well. Up 12-3, going to look to close out here, Caillou. Couldn't throw the smoke there, but we'll throw it down. Again, he does get two tries. It's gonna be a B push coming out from Ontario Tech University Academy, but they decide to leave the spike in the middle, so it's more of a default. Just trying to get something out of the Saints. The Saints decide to three-man push through bathroom, I believe, and yes. they now know that nobody is anywhere near A, so uh, it's gonna be a B push coming out most certainly here from Ontario Tech Academy. Yeah, Caillou peeking. Hookah very aggressively here, making sure the push doesn't oh, happen. Ego though, gonna clear out that back site, but all that fight. Oh, it's gonna be too tough, and Caillou finds one through the wall. Smoke. 
Just able to find the headshot through the smoke there. So nice from Caillou. He will get peeked by you here. No, he won't. And look at that again. Instincts able to find a pick on Banana and Ontario Tech University uh, Academy. Just have no idea where to go. They're going to choose the hookah is the spot where they're going to fight their battle. Instinct is not going to be able to find any. No, he does find one. Pines two. And it's just on TK Vic now in the one before situation. He's going to get pushed and taken down by Seth. And just like that, that is game going over to St. Clair College over Ontario Tech Academy. A close one to start, but not a close one to finish it off. No, they had a few rounds there in the beginning, but St. Clair College started off strong and was strong all the way throughout the end, especially in that last round. That was a brutal round there, but OTSU should be able to gather their strength and go looking towards the next map, maybe try a few different strats, different team comps. We'll see how it goes, but with how that last match went, it's looking like St. Clair is going to take this one. Yeah, that, I mean, it is Valorant. Anything is possible, but that was a pretty strong showing from St. Clair. They really showed that they're out for blood this season. Not take, Yes, they did lose one thrifty. Things happen. You know, they are playing a pretty yep. good team. Like, they're, they're playing a good team. It is what it is. But uh, other than that, they looked pretty smooth. They were Their shots were crisp. Uh, I was really uh, surprised by how well they played both offense and defense. They were able to not overcommit when they didn't need to, which is a mistake that a lot of teams make. They hear some noise and they all rotate over. St. Clair were able to keep those members put at those bomb sites, and it really allowed them to ex excel. One thing I do want to say is I think once St. Clair stuck to their fundamentals and like the the you know play by plays, not not the crazy stuff they were trying. They're doing a lot of ego pe peaks. Oh, we're going straight into game yeah, two, yeah. by the way. All right. <laughs> Anyways, I think they really you know got into their own there. That's when they started winning. And OTSU, they have some amazing players on their teams, but I think they just need to practice on the team play a little bit more because Ego is amazing. He goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with any of these St. Clair players. They're all amazing players, but I think St. Clair has just labbed that teamwork, the team plays a little bit more than OTSU, and it really shows that it, it, goes, it goes very far. But speaking of Valorant, we got map two coming up. We got Lotus. Let's talk about the team comps for the side of St. Clair College. We got Seth on Viper. We got Instinct on the Rays. Giza on the Killjoy. Smiley on the Omen. And it looks like Caillou on his signature Sky will be picking that one up. On the side of Ontario Tech Academy, we got TK Vic on that Omen. Killjoy coming out for work rate. Miscreant 18 with the Sky. Eagle on that Rays again. And it's going to be Banana on... Oh, that's going to be Deadlock, which is interesting. Deadlock. Deadlock is not a favorite pick out of most people, but, you know, maybe that weird shake-up, the off-meta pick, might be, something. might be what they need to make this work. They are starting on defense, which Deadlock specializes in. She's able to put down, like, a slowing net, the, the wall, the X wall thing that blocks off sight lines. You are able to shoot through it, but you can't walk through it, and you're going to have to spend a lot of bullets to break that one. And then I believe she has a few other things in her kit. Her ultimate is amazing. You shoot this big, like, grapple of death, and it just grabs your opponent. They can't do anything. It's up to their teammates to save them. But if it's the last person left, you're dead. It's over. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've always thought that when you're playing against a better team, you shouldn't play meta. You should play something that maybe you've practiced and maybe you have a comfort pick on, even if it's not necessarily good or considered good by others if you're good on a certain character and you can make it work it can really throw off some some teams like a lot like they just won't know Definitely. what to do so uh, i like it even though i i don't know much about deadlock i don't know how good it uh, she is in the meta i like it from ontario tech academy i think it might just give them that spark that they need to maybe give them a bit more hope against St. Clair College. Yeah, we'll see how it goes in this first round. We are Saints on attack once again. And Instinct, oh, Instinct. pushing the attack, getting a double kill there. Banana oh, going to get a kill. But Instinct going to get the 3k there. And now it's a 2v4 situation. I know they know where they are. Because they, they hurt the, the flank, get the kill. Yeah, they know where they are. And now they're going to go for the push here. 
try and take the gun what are do? And Insane gonna get the 4K. Will he get the round one ace? That's the question everyone's asking themselves right now. Banana here in the corner, the deadlock. Oh, Insta gets is. the round one ace to start it off. Wow, OTSU. Now you have to deal with the mental diff of losing the last, last game and starting off by getting ace. That's gotta be so rough. You have to try and buckle down and tell yourself that things are gonna be okay, that this round can be different, but when the enemy team starts off like that, it's gonna be very tough. Yeah, I mean, whatever I said about them having hope and banana on that on that deadlock, Instinct is trying to take my words out of my mouth and just, he just gets an ace in the first round. Oh, beautiful shots, might I add as well, with that ghost. Able to find them here, now St. Clair, gonna go very, very quickly onto the seaside. Nobody is there but banana, and I think they smell that out. Giza, it's gonna put that filter turret down as well to make sure it can spot it. I mean, Banana is very, very close with a shorty, but he's all on his lonesome here on this uh, C site. Caillou's gonna pop that dog around that wall. Is the lock, the Omen's gonna TP in. They have no idea that the smiley sit uh, banana sitting here with this shorty, but Giza is able to find three on to B side. They were all probably trying to come for the flank, but he's able to one spot it out. Inkstein's gonna find one more. Now it's a 1v5 for Banana, second round in a row. Definitely not the spot he wants to be in. Does find some shots onto Smiley through the blind, but will get taken down. And just like that, Saints. Able to take a very, very, very strong and commanding 2-0 lead here as Instinct has his ultimate. Now TSU does have guns in hand, so this is where they can really show if this match is going to continue to be a steamroll or if they'll be able to defend against the Saints. I know the Saints have practiced Lotus attacks so, so, so much. Yeah. This is probably one of their most comfortable maps that they like playing, so it's a rough start for OTSU. We'll see if they're going to be able to lock this one in. Miscreant sending out a flash. Let's see lock They know where they are. Oh and Deadlock looking a little bit more dead than Lock right now <laughs> as Instinct gets the first kill. He's pushing in. Looks like it's going to be a C site push once again. Sending one just to watch the flank. Last game it was Smiley. This game it's Instinct on absolute fire on this raise. Just finding headshot after headshot. That's what his eighth kill of the game. Like. Absolutely amazing performance from him. He does, still does have that raise ultimate. I wonder if they're going to use it very, very early here to open up B site. Let's see the peak there from the TK Vic. Is able to find Instinct, the top fragger of St. Clair. Great start there for Ontario Tech Academy. He's able to make it out with his life as well. And Giza and Smiley. Oh, Smiley's on the Omen now. I apologize. I don't know why I thought he was on the sky. Caillou's on the sky. But that's all yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, it looks like they're pushing. They're just waiting for... Ontario Tech Academy to push into them right now. And they're not going to do it anymore after losing to a member. They're just going to play it carefully. It's a 4v4 situation right now. Neither team really wants to be very aggressive, but it looks like Giza's going to be the one to be aggressive as he's pushing in onto B side right now. Oh. And Ego finds one. Giza going to trade that one out. He's oh, Ego dies. Out. And now it's a 2v2. The Saints should be able to get the spike down. Is that was a great trade coming out there from Smiley onto Ego. The plant should be going down. There it is from Smiley. And now it's just the two members of Ontario Tech Academy both in the same position. But what a shot here from Giza. Beautiful flank from him. And it's just all up to TK Vake here. They know exactly where he is. Smiley is going to peek around the score. TK Vake does find Caillou. And now Giza is coming on the flank. Will he be able to find a kill? No, Smiley will find him as he TP is right in front of him. And St. Clair, Saints with that round, secure themselves quite a nice lead, quite a nice uh, economical lead as well. So it's going to be very rough for Ontario Tech Academy to start a, a yeah, comeback. That is the round they wanted to yeah. win, but St. Clair still commanding this lead now. Economically, kill-wise, ultimate-wise, they have a showstopper ready on instant because he got five <laughs> kills in the, the first, first round. So he pretty much has that on lock right now. So it looks like they're going to go for a full aggro A push, and he's might be looking to use it, but there's no one on out. A. No one's Come over on A. If they just full send it, that's going to be easy sight control for them. And I think they're starting to realize that they're, they're moving their way in slowly as if there are enemies on that site. But look at Giza. He's single-handedly making sure nobody can flank. As I say, that banana <laughs> takes his head off, and he's been pretty... 
pretty good on this deadlock so far this game, but Ontario it's going to be all planted. four members for Ontario Tech University on this flank. But look at St. Clair College. They're in their spawn, so the map has basically flipped. Instinct <laughs> is looking towards the middle here. TK Vic coming up middle there with the Omen on half HP. Could be a pretty good flank here if nobody from St. Clair spots it out. But the other four members are coming in from main. Nix is going to find one, finds two, is going to find a third. Yes, he will. Looking for the fourth here. Will he pop that showstopper? No, with three bullets <laughs> left, he'll find the kill. TK Vic will trade two back, but Seth will find the final kill there. And that's going to be the fourth round going over to St. Clair College. <laughs> Smiley stole the 4K there. And I think that sent him into a little bit of a stun lock. He yeah. looked over his teammate instead of behind him. Got taken out with the Duque there. Good attempt from Ontario Tech Academy. They played the tactics pretty well, but it looks like St. Clair's aim was just a little bit more on point there. But now they do have rifles in hand. That was a thrifty round, and they did give St. Clair a little bit of trouble. So we'll see if they'll get some momentum back here this next round. I mean, Instinct is playing on absolute fire. He's firing on all cylinders, finding those picks on the raids, but you know, a good little caster curse never hurts. He goes able to take him out right away. and. Now maybe, maybe St. Clair will have to slow down a bit as their top fragging duelist is out for the round. Yeah, they gotta watch out for Ego and their own Egos as <laughs> you don't want to get too aggressive here and push the one ways up over on A. They're trying to find a kill out of the gate, but right now I don't think they're in the position. The flash, the smokes, the walls are all oh. coming out. Wall goes down, Kai finds one, Lily finds two, Seth finds another, Ego gonna take another one out, but Smile gonna take out Ego. And now it's a 2v3 situation, Ontario oh. Tech down a man. They still can make this work, though, if they give it their all. Caillou taking the gunfight, not going to find anything, though. Everybody's a little Good bit worse for wear, and it looks like they don't have the spike down just yet. They're just waiting until it's completely safe. And there it is. Spike is going down, and the rest are flooding in from heaven. And TK Vic had a chance to make it a 2v2 situation, but missed the shot. But work rate will take out Smiley, lives on 5 HP. Very, very close battle there. It's Viper and Sky against Omen and Killjoy. If any of that Viper poison lands on that Killjoy, it would be deadly. So Caillou is making sure that he doesn't get flanked. Work rate gets his position revealed. He do does decide to fire off a couple shots here. Caillou's gonna throw out that flash. Seth does find work rate. It's all up to TK Vic and the 1v2. But Caillou with the jiggle peek is able to take him out. And now St. Clair take a 5 0 lead. Ontario Tech Academy just can't seem to find a round. Yeah, you just need to get some footing here as they are just being rolled over right now by St. Clair College. You just. You need that little island, that one round victory makes it feel all so much better. But right now, Sinclair College is just running away with it. And once again, their economy is in disarray. They have to save for next. One person buying a Guardian trying to play the long range because they know St. Clair will be with all their rifles. They still have the Showstopper online. They still have uh, the Killjoy Alton. There's the Showstopper. He's going into B. Finds one. Will he find two? He will not. Banana going to shut that one right down. And they use the Deadlock. Oh, All Banana going to find two there. And wow. Just like that. St. Clair is not in the lead anymore. They're going to use the Killjoy Alt over on C. Try and flush out B as well. Secure that C site for themselves. Worker going to have to back out. Ego going to go back as well and play the flank. It's a good start for Ontario Tech Academy with that Dreadlock Ultimate. We'll ab we're able to find a couple kills. Giza, though, is in such a good position. Does find one. Does he have any idea there's another player here? Eagle goes in with that Showstopper. Is not able to find one. There's going to be the Sky ulti coming up from Caillou. Uh, uh, Seth is going to find one. He's going to find the second or third. right around the corner. Seth is not able to find that skill. It's just the Sky left. He's going to be peeking, and Giza will find the round ending kill. St. Clair Saints, 6 0 lead. And they are just tearing Ontario Tech Academy apart. Yeah, they are having an amazing game, 6-0. and Will this be a 13-0, 12-0? Ontario Tech dreads that. They don't want it to happen, no, no, no. and it looks like they're going to arm themselves and try and prevent this. It's an underdog score. I'm hoping they may manage to win a few rounds here. We'll see if they're just able to. But with how St. Clair is going right now, it's going to be very tough. Looks like they're all jumbling over on A, trying to mount the ultimate defense against them. All the holes, both teams are sending everybody at each other right now. Long range oh, he finds, oh. One. One enemy he finds two. <laughs> so much chaos there. Four kills on the board from the Saints. And now it's down to the one, the only one over not on A. <laughs> it's 
not looking great for Ontario Tech. They spent so much time accumulating all that money. It seems to have all gone to waste, but maybe oh on my Ace, but Giza is going to squash any chance there and give them an 0 7 lead. Such crisp shots, shots there from all of Sinclair Instinct, finding a couple early. Smiley finding the kills there as well, and then a great finish to the round there from Giza Sinclair College. 7 0 lead. Now they're looking very, very strong. Ontario Tech Academy just, they can't do anything. They, they're trying everything, but on the attack, St. Clair is just so, so good. They're able to find the angles, find the picks. And, you know, it is an attack side of map. The attackers should be ahead, but up 7-0 maybe is a bit better than St. Clair uh, anticipated. Banana puts down the trap there, trying to stop St. Clair's B push, and it looks like it just might, as they know someone's around the corner, but they might be too determined to be stopped here. It looks like they're going to rotate over to Seaside, clear out that long hallway there with the door. And now TK Vic hiding in the corner there with the shotgun, hoping they push yeah. short range, but it looks like they're going to take the long range engagements over on C instead, as Ego goes for the Ego play of going on the flank. He wants to get these kills, he needs some for his team. Now, it looks like all the action is going to be happening over on C. Giza pushes in, gets taken, I mean, TK Vic pushes in, gets killed up by Giza, and now, it looks like work rate up top is oh taken up by Smiley as well. Kai going to find one as well, and now they're all falling down. The plant's going to go down, Giza going to take oh one more with him, make that three as a flawless round from the Saints. 8 and 0 oh lead. When will their rule be stopped? I mean, Giza is catching up to Instinct. The shots are just so crisp. The round is able to find at least a two there. St. Clair are just firing on all fronts. It's a very, very good game for them so far. I mean, they're just playing very, very well. There's nothing really to say. Ontario Tech are trying. But I don't even think it's their strategy. The St. Clair, Time their aim has been impeccable this map. Their strategy has been impeccable as well. Ontario Tech are trying to find something. You could see them doing like the four-man push up mid and like weird strategies, which I like to see. But St. Clair call is just a little bit too good in this one. 8-0 lead. Now they're going to look for another push onto this C site, which they have liked so much. Giza is going to be able to find some shots there, but not able to get any kills. And it's going to be three members from the side of St. Clair just running onto the seaside. Both guys are going to be able to dog there. There's going to be the angle from Workrate. Will get taken down. That guy is not even able to peek and does get sprayed down through the wall. Getting absolutely chased down. Smiley is going to not find anything there. TK Vic is able to find the trade, but will get taken down. Kiza with his third of the round. And it's going to be just Banana. They know exactly where he is. The spike is getting planted. And... This is looking like a sure 9 0 for the Sire St. Clair. Well done, the deadlock once again. Banana does find one. Might find another. He's going to peek the shadows, but he's wow. not going to work. And Smiley is there waiting for him. 9 0 lead. St. Clair just running away with it. Only a few more rounds till we swap in the half. And not a single round from Ontario Tech Academy. They need to get their stuff together here. But can you blame them? Starting off by getting aced is not how you want to start off the second round. And just, they haven't found any win for themselves here since it's just a tough thing all around. They have the skills, but St. Clair is just looking better right now. They have four ultimates on the board. Maybe they can make something work here. Maybe this is where they take a round for themselves. Yeah, this, this pushing in on C. And it looks like Banana's going to peek around the corner. He has the wall up. He's going to take out a turret, but that's not going to amount to much. He needs to take out a player here as it looks like they all funnel towards A. Yeah, it's going to be a four-man push on to A. It's just Ego and his lonesome. He's going to uh, spot out all four members. And Giza now is going to throw out that Nano Storm. They're going to just look to make a lot of space. But up mid, there's going to be Banana peeking. Maybe there. Let's see, there's going to be the flash coming out. He's getting sprayed down there. Instinct's able to save his teammate's life there. But Instinct will get taken down. Uh, by Ego, it will actually be a trade. Caillou will take down one as well. They've got a player in the Killjoy Ultimate. They do find a banana. TK Vic is able to finally pick onto Caillou on 17 HP. We'll be able to make it out alive. But in a 2v3 situation, St. Clair get the spike down and they're looking good to win this 10th round. And now St. Clair just has the confidence to do these crazy aggressive plays. And it's working just because I think they just have the aim difference right now. As TK Vic. He's holding the cross guard here with win rate. 
It's going to be the one to peek in there. They look away, but Workrate manages to find it anyway. He's going to upgrade to a Vandal. Maybe keep it for the next round. Keep the Saints on their toes. As TK pick, he's not going to be able to go for the DQs right now. The 1v2. Instinct pops the Showstopper just to show off, I guess, to stop any sort of push. But it's looking like this round is going to go for the Saints as the bomb is one about to detonate. Remaining. Smiley finds one. He's going to TP and try and find the other. TK pick, the last one remaining. He's in trees. Will they find him? Will they, they take will, him they out? Will, or will he will. get out with his life? What is see that? him. <laughs> and they get him anyways. That's awful. <laughs> with the 360. I think he was using himself as bait and then kind of surprised that he even lived that long. Just turns around. One more bullet should do the job there. 10 0 lead for the side of St. Clair College. And let's keep it honest. This game is about as over as it gets. I think all of Ontario Tech Academy have realized that. You know, it's just a, it's one of those games. It's a really it's, rough one for them. We don't mean any disrespect no here. Disrespect. It's just no disrespect. sometimes the game doesn't go your way, yeah. and this is one of those games where you get ace. Happens to every rip. team. It happens to every team. Yeah, so here they go. Maybe it'll turn around. We'll, we're holding out hope here, but it's not looking good so far. Only a few more rounds to go. He's just going to push through the poison or ego. He's going to hold a long once again, but instinct. Oh double goodness. kill to start off the round. 3v5. It's looking like we've seen this script before <laughs> as the Saints are just being utterly dominant here on Lotus. Going to try and push around, find anybody. It might not work. Caillou's going to be the one holding it. Has a rifle, carefree rifle, he finds it through the wall, gets the double kill, and now it's just a single sky left. They're gonna find him out with the ultimate there. And send out a flash. There it is, flash right back, but doesn't matter. 3k from Caillou, double kill from Instinct, flawless round all around. 11 rely on round lead. Ontario Tech. They're gonna have to do the exact same thing on attack. This map will ha would have to be broken. Oh, some yeah. magical blessing. Some, some insane magical <laughs> blessing would have to happen. But I mean, Ontario Tech, they're trying, but you could see Ego was buying the operator. I think I think uh, they realized that they need to do something desperate. I mean, I don't know if the operator is the option here, but it looks like the Saints are going to be going all the way to C, so that operator won't even be used for that much this round. Yeah, I don't think so. I think they're going to bait out the push. Ego's, I think, starting to realize that they're not going to push that off. I think he might look for a rotate pretty soon. Kai going to send out a flash, try and scope out C. Looks like they're going to full send C, though. There's a lot of traps on the ground. They scout them out. They're trying to scram them down. Oh, Miss Green finds one. Seth's going to find one right back, though. Now there's one on the flank though, TK Vic finding one, Seth gonna take that out. Getting the trades here, if they keep this up, they might be in the lead. They are getting the first picks of most of these altercations, but it looks like we're gonna use Omen Alt TP over to A. Send them into disarray, as now Banana has to push through, try and find something here, pushing A long. I think he has a feeling that Giza's behind this box, but he doesn't know for sure. And Giza knows that he's there, he hears him. The, the Viper Bite's gonna oh get my. sprayed down through the wall. Giza's so gonna take sad. a Banana, now Ego. Ego. Being very aggro with his off, I guess. He's going to go all on the offense. Throw the grenade in trees, try and delay any offense. Trying to clear this one out just so he can get TVs. Oh! He finds one, Wicker finds one, another. There is a TV1. Giza has to clutch this one out. He doesn't want to let himself know. He knows the showstopper the is out right now. Just trying to kill time. Oh, Five they got it! Wow, they got it! And that's their first round win. Maybe no, I don't, this is I don't know if they got it. Do they get it? Do they get it? It's one second. Oh, no! no! The bomb clutches the round. No. Just one second. One second was all that it was. Now, 12 and 0 going into the next round. Sure, you might be able to win this pistol. Sure, you might be able to win even maybe six rounds in a row. But can you really say that you can win 12 rounds without dropping a single one? That is a tall order. And with how the Saints have been playing, don't think it's very likely. That was so, so close for Ontario Tech. They had it, but they did it. So it was a nice try from them. They got all the kills. All five members did die from St. Clair College, but it is an objective-based game when your objective is to explode the spike or kill the enemies. Sometimes you got to do both. They did enough on the killing the enemies part there, but just could not get to the spike in time. And now on the attack, Ontario Tech Academy are going to look to full push this C site. St. Clair are going for their tactic, all pushing up mid. Do they have any idea that the work ready is here? Is able to find one? 
will the trade come out here? We're gonna choose not to peek that Ego. He's gonna open that door up, but Instinct and Giza able to find so many. In the end, it's an Ego finding three at the end there. And just like that, Ontario Tech Academy are gonna take their first round of the game, which they so much deserve, especially after the last half ended. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, this is a start of an insane comeback, but St. Clair are full forcing it. They said, guys, this is unacceptable. We can't be losing rounds like that. But Ego, very important in every round that Ontario Tech Academy has won in this entire series, is able to find three crucial picks there. Yeah, what's, what's up with the Razors finding the multi-kills round yeah, it's one? Crazy. It's crazy that this happened twice. So maybe if that is going to script, Ontario Tech will be able to turn this one around, get 12 rounds in a row, and hopefully bring this to overtime for themselves. But TK Vic is pushing up right now. They do have the weapons advantage work rate doing the same job as before, but it looks like St. Clair is now playing more by the book, not being hyper-aggressive, pushing like they were before. They're gonna play the close angles, they play the off angles. Oh, the dog spots him out. Yeah, but where he, Caillou is now, the dog knows where he is. He's gonna send out a blind, blinds his teammate though. Gonna really pop the heel. You know, most of them are on B. This can be fun. Smiley though. Now the rest of them are trying to flood in, trying to find something. St. Clair, a little bit in disarray right now, down a member. They're still holding strong though. And Ego is gonna be on to the side, but Seth finding two, with, and the Giza is gonna find him as well. It's gonna be just Ego in this corner with the Vandal. That shot misses on Giza, but Giza gets a beautiful headshot there, and just like that, it's a 4v1. Beside the Saints, Instinct is able to find work rate, and just like that, that is a good game. 13-1 in map two for St. Clair College over Ontario Tech Academy, and they will be taking se the series 2-0 in very dominant fashion. Yeah, that was just an utterly dominant game from the Saints, but I want Ontario to Tech to take that one round and take it home <laughs> and feel good that they at least got one there. You know, you did lose, but at least it wasn't a 13-0. Should have been two. Should have been two. They were doing very, very well there in that second round, but when you're down that much score, as soon as they got their flow back, it just wasn't soon enough. But what a game that was to watch. The Saints played amazingly. Ontario Tech also had their moments as well, yeah. but just a little bit fewer and far between. Just a little bit more practice, and I'm sure they'll get there soon enough. But it's been an amazing time here today. I always love Valorant. I'm <laughs> excited to see the new Outlaw be in play in a few more weeks, but what a game. St. Clair Varsity winning 2-0. Yeah, and... Uh with all that being said, we're going to be wrapping it up. So let's say thanks to our sponsors. We got HyperX, Subway, Tim Hortons, the SRC alumni. We, ha we have the St. Clair SRC in the St. Clair go. College Alumni Association. <laughs> Thank you to everybody in the back today, to Neil, Amanda, and Tommy. They did a great job, and we'll see you again soon, probably next weekend with some more Valorant or maybe some new games we're seeing as things flood in this semester. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Uh, follow the socials. Follow Goodbye. the socials, yes. <laughs>